guys, so today I'm just going to bring you a um, basic squat demo. I know a lot of you take on squat challenges and the like via Facebook, um, so it's important to get the actual foundations of the movement, movement right um, before we start doing loads of them in our exercise routines. So I'll just go over the basics with you. So essentially you want to be standing at least hip width apart with either toes straight forward or just pointed out slightly. Some of you might be comfortable going a little bit wider. We've all got different skeletons and whatever works for you works for you. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're a little bit wider. And basically you want to start from your knees and push your hips back and squat down as if you're squatting over a dirty toilet. Okay, You don't want to touch the seat. So you're holding your body weight in your feet, pushing those hips back. Now something else you want to focus on is dropping the weight back to the heels. Okay, so most of the weight should be sitting in your heels. In fact, when you're in the depth of the squat, you should be able to bounce your um, toes up and down, flap them up and down. They should be quite loose under the ball of your foot. Um, you also want to make sure that your knee is tracking in line with your um, longest toe or the toe next to your big toe. Okay, and a good way to do that is to get the weight to the outside of the foot more so than the, out, the inside of the foot. Okay, so if you watch where my knees are tracking, they're going straight over where that toe would be pointing. You want to also make sure that none of that happens, that your knees don't divvy inwards. Okay, you want to keep them out. Now another important thing is that when you're down in the depth of the squat, it should be at about a right angle with your knee. Okay, between your thigh bone and your lower leg bone, it should be about a right angle. And the same angle should apply to your hip to back. So the angle here should meet the angle here from your thigh to your back. If you find that you're squatting a little bit more like this, so your body's come forward more, it's essentially because you haven't quite got the strength in your legs and your butt or your glutes to be able to do a squat properly. It's a good idea to put something in front of you, okay, and just squat as low as what you can, keeping those correct angles. It's also a good idea to bring your arms up in front of you. When you're first learning a squat, it helps to counterbalance the action. And in the depth of the squat, draw in and up from your pelvic floor, draw the belly button softly towards your spine and squeeze in those glutes at the top of the movement. So as you come up, pull those arms back, make your chest nice and tall and get that back nice and wide. And at about that tempo there is a really good one to start with. That's basic squats, that's Squats 101. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something, go and practice some. Be fit, stay well.